you about the mouse training theory. <clears throat> what the mouse training theory is, is training an employee on the little pieces of the business without necessarily giving them the whole piece that you're trying to train them all at once. I'm sure you saw a movie, I can't, I can't remember the name of it. You might remember it. I can remember the name of it, I'm just testing you. Wax on, wax off. What was Mr. Miyagi doing? Got his car clean. But he was teaching his student how to block. See, sometimes with students, if you teach them why you're teaching them, what you're teaching them, too early, you lose them. Sometimes you should just teach them and not tell them the why. You will get to a point, if they're a good student, they will ask why. And when they start asking why, you teach them the why. Because that will make their training go faster. Well, see, we do that with mice. If you take a mouse and you put them in the mouse cage, you drop the mouse in here, let's just say for the sake of argument, we have a mouse that has to run through the mouse cage. And the idea is to get them over to this corner to ring a bell. I could drop the mouse here and the cheese there, and at some point, even the dumbest mouse will get to the cheese. I can put the cheese there right underneath the bell. And no matter what happens, that mouse is going to just accidentally bump into the bell because at some point it found the cheese. But that's not the way to train people to make it last. That's not the way to train mice to make it last. The way to train mice to make it last is you drop the mouse in here and you put the cheese here. And you keep doing it. You drop the mouse in, and before you know it, the mouse won't even look down the other way. It literally will run as quick as it can. It'll drop it, and their little leg will be going like this before it even hits the ground. It will literally run as fast as it can to that corner, and that, no, they know the cheese is going there. And then once they have it, you move the cheese here. Or you might move it here. And you keep moving it. And what will happen is, You'll drop the mouse here, he'll run there, he'll run there. And before you know it, they got it. They got it. They got it every time. Boom, 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 boom. And then at some point you pick it up and you move the cheese here. And they'll run, and they'll run, and they'll make the coin, they'll keep doing it until finally you go through the whole process and you drop the cheese there, the bell is there. The mouse will go through the exact way you want them to go. They will not take shortcuts. I wonder if that has any bearing on the restaurant business, shortcuts. The mouse won't do it. The mouse will literally go down the same path. Even though it could take a shortcut, it won't do it. It'll go down the same path until it gets to the corner. You could even make it so that the mouse got the cheese away from the bell and then had another piece of cheese that made the mouse do something special to ring the bell, and the mouse will do it. And in time, you could get rid of the cheese. The mouse will do it, ding, ding, without cheese. It's kind of like with your kids, if you think about it. <clears throat> My 13-year-old does a pretty good job tying his shoes, but I don't clap anymore. I've now moved the cheese. If I would have said to my youngest son, early, early on, son, <coughs> you probably won't be able to pick up any girls if you're 37 years old and you can't tie your shoes. You're probably going to have a bit of a problem. He wouldn't have listened. He wouldn't have cared. Because, see, I was giving him the why. Tie your shoes. 
brush your teeth, comb your hair. I'm not going to give you the why. At some point, they will ask the why. With the mouse training theory, at some point, they will ask the why. But you don't want to have a brand new employee, and you say to them, well, we have to have a clean restaurant. You determine for yourself what that means. No, what you want to say to the brand new employee is, let me teach you how to mop the floor the right way. Let me teach you how to do an opening checklist the right way. Let me teach you how to serve the customer the right way. Let me do the simplest of tasks over and over and over and over. And then once you get it, I'm going to move the cheese. I'll move it to something different. And I'm going to expect you to keep chasing the new challenges I'm giving you. And then at some point, hopefully, they're going to want to become management people, or they're going to want to be team leaders. And then that's when they're going to start asking the why. And then that's when I'm going to give them the why. Your training will be much more successful if you think of that theory when you're training folks. And I'm talking on the littlest details you can imagine, all the way up to how to read a P&L, how to do a schedule, how to order product, how to deal with a board meeting. <laughs>